From the 915 to H-Town, from the Panhandle Plains to the Valley, and everywhere in between, this is the 5050 Podcast, powered by National Scouting Report. Join me, Hector Cano, as we cover the Texas high school club and college soccer landscape, along with an inside look at the college soccer recruiting scene. The 5050 Podcast is a platform about the people and for the people who are dedicated to the beautiful game. And we're back live from beautiful Moody Gardens here in Galveston, Texas at the 2023 Texas High School Soccer Coaches Convention. And I am now joined by my next guest. He is Mr. Fred, correct me on this coach, the Cranian. Did yeah, I get that right? Fred, it. the Cranian of the International School. Welcome. How are you, coach? Good, good. Happy to be here. Thank yeah. you for having me. Yeah, awesome. Grad, very excited to have someone of your caliber here joining us. We've had a phenomenal already afternoon of guests. So trying to cap it off here with you. Very excited to have you here. And uh, so before we kind of start dialing in and talking more things, tell us a little bit of just how's it going? How was your trip coming in? And what's been your take on uh, on things so far here at Tesco? The uh, one, again, thank you for having me. Yes, sir. I uh, appreciate it. The trip was great. Love to travel. Um, the most, I think the most important point to answer that question it's so nice to be here because, and I told the guys, the the board, Tasco board, everyone in charge, all the higher ups. Mm -hmm. Typically, when you deal with, I mean, this is the largest high school coaches, largest high school coaches organization in the country, mm -hmm. and then they're putting on a convention, which is, I mean, we're half a convention, a quarter of a convention, and it's extremely organized. The guys are on it. I mean, every detail is there, but typically when you deal with a big profile group. I, I, I will just say it because I'm very direct, but you don't always have the quality of people yeah. that you have at Tasco. So that's the best part about being here is they're just really good people. They care. Mm -hmm. They're trying to help people and they're yeah. jumping through hoops to make sure all of their participants, all the high school coaches, I think there's a thousand people here, yeah. have a great time yeah. and, and can learn. So Yeah, I'm, an, I'm fully anticipating that it'll be a record number this year. And what I can tell you, I mentioned this earlier in one of my previous interviews, is that uh, the one thing we can tell for sure is, well, still subjective, of course, but I think that my thought is this may be the best lineup in terms of the convention that they've ever had. Just phenomenal quality uh, of guest speakers, right, presenters, clinicians, and rightfully so. That's why we have you here. So um, so before we kind of dive into what you're doing here, tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about how the genesis of how this came to be, how you ended up here at Tasco. We... So I run the International Soccer School, mm -hmm. and we started in Florida as a Florida soccer school, and we're basically specialty education. So we do education for players, um, similar to NSR. We do mm -hmm. uh, college recruitment. We advise clubs in Florida and our mm -hmm. network. Um, and, and I really enjoy, and from talking to you previously, yes, the education piece that NSR is doing is, and, and, and you as well. There's such a divide in the in the recruitment Absolutely. piece, right? So. Absolutely. You know, my hat's off to you guys and everyone yes, for, for the Thank positive you. stuff you're doing for soccer. I say football sometimes. That's football. What means I know, I know, I know, I know. So <laughs> we ended up starting something called the International Soccer School about eight years ago. We're at year six in Florida and we branched out into Texas. Mm -hmm. So we're partnered with North Texas um, and Capelli Sport. Uh, Huddle is on board with us as well. Yeah. And we ran our first symposium in Dallas about uh, July 7th and 9th a year ago. So I met the Tasco guys and a lot of the board members and they blindly supported us. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there that's maybe not as pure and as clean as our stuff. We we had Real Madrid. So we had mm -hmm. uh, Jose Manuel Lara from uh, the senior women's team yeah. uh, and former uh, La Fabrica. We had Alan Irvine, who's a Premier League coach. He was a manager at West Brom. He ran the Everton Academy. He's now at West Ham United. We had uh, Mikael Bueno from Luav, which is Pogba, Mendy, Mares, mm -hmm. the top youth academy in probably the world, let alone France, uh, and then Icono. So Icono is an con education consultancy firm, 
they deal with PSG, the JFF, Japanese Federation. Some right. of the success Japan had in the World Cup was because of them. So we deal with high-end soccer. soccer. Yeah. Right. And then we met the Tasco guys, and I said, hey, how can we help you guys? You helped yeah. us. We want to help you. And they said, well, you know, come and help us present. So um, you said about the lineup. I don't know who was here in the past and mm -hmm. were humbled and excited to be here. I was picking Alan Irvine up from the airport uh, when he first came in, in 2022 in Orlando. Good friend, awesome person. Mm -hmm. He has more. He's he's a top Premier League player. He, he's a manager at multiple Premier League clubs. I picked him up in the car and I, I got to see him after COVID, right, which was a long time. Right. And he said, Fred, I'm so excited. And I said, here I am thinking in my head, I'm excited. What do you mean you're excited? But he, he genuinely, was, I'm so excited. I said, what are you What are you excited about? I want to know. He said, I'm excited to learn and to be here and learn from everyone else. And genuinely for me, mm -hmm. Adam was on, you know, I got to see Perry present. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to, um, I think Coach Mackey comes on in a little bit, you know, who's a, right. who's a great motivational yeah. speaker. So uh, I'm looking forward to learn just like everyone else here. So. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's obviously he's a very well known inspirational motivational speaker here in the state of Texas. What does a lot of phenomenal work, and hopefully we'll be having him join us here here on the podcast at some point as well. Um, so you talk uh, so the international school. You told us a little bit about what you're about. So what in terms of association? Maybe some people hear that you know that that term right, the name of the international soccer school. What should maybe in a couple of sentences, one or two sentences, what should people think when they hear the International Soccer School? Specialty education, people that care. And we basically expand our network through the coaching symposium, the International mm -hmm. Coaching Symposium. We open our network to anyone that wants to join us. Our next event, we're, we're running an annual event in Dallas right now, North Texas. So I believe that's the 12th to the 14th of July. So anyone that has an open mind and wants to learn, just like you're doing here with the podcast, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you have a platform that you're using to help people and we have the same thing yeah. now. Um, I don't think people realize the amount of work you put into it to make it get where it is. Uh, the, yeah. the work behind the scenes is a lot, but we'll, we're prepared. So we have uh, Kike Sasana and Diego Placente. Nice, so the nice. Argentinian national team yeah. uh, coaches. So they're on board, Icono's on board. So we have three headliners already for 2024. Mm -hmm. So I would say if you're interested in, yeah, learning and want want to improve we will do this in dallas and we've had people from houston yeah and you know so this is yeah. what i would say yeah so you started you're based i guess based or started out of florida whatever i guess whatever's a more correct term there um so is that what does that look like in terms of our mind's eye is that a that's a brick and mortar campus there what is what does that look like we're we're all we're a collaboration of high-end soccer guys mm -hmm. and football guys are a collaboration of high-end soccer guys that make up the company and the strength of the company is our intellectual capital our experience mm -hmm. uh the human side of it right we gotcha. we as the 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 person running it i i take pride in the people just like the tasco the guys at tasco mm -hmm. there i mean i have not met a, a board member that's not a really good person we, we control the same thing in the company so who you surround yourself with i think defines your success and how well you yeah. do and i think if, no doubt. if i've done one thing well it's surround myself with great people juan carlos michia from formerly u.s soccer into miami mm -hmm. perry vanderbeck rui fernandez won a national championship at uconn so these are people uh michael bonnell from luav alan from west ham like these are advisors mentors and people that mm -hmm. i surround myself with so that hopefully we can do good by people. Um, yeah. So we started in Florida. Um, we do education for players. We have probably one of the leading camps in the Southeast. We, but it's not a, a fun thing. It's, hey, you want to learn? You want to learn from top people? We bring in college coaches, pro coaches. Yeah. The same thing we do for the coaching education side we do for players. Mm -hmm. We do a college showcase called IDX. Um, very intimate. We bring We simulate the ECNL or MLS next showcase would bring in okay. a ton of coaches uh, and the ratio is four or five to one, uh, four players, one coach, one college nice. coach. Yeah, it's wow. difficult to put on, but we do it. And then we started something called IDX plus very small and that's education for recruitment because mm -hmm. we know that's a divide. And again, we spoke about NSR and what you do for there, what, you know, their connection with you and, and, yeah. and the partnerships. So. Yeah. So 
you know, you're you're now venturing in, as you mentioned, venturing into Texas, right? North Texas. What are what's what has that been like so far, and what is the future looking like there? From what you can share, challenging, <laughs> challenging for sure. Yeah. Uh, I think I don't know how to answer that the best way, but I think the hard part is convincing people you are authentic and we are new. I'm going to present. They asked me to present, and I said, "Okay, well." I'm not going to come here and present something that that's been done before. I want to open people's minds to what we what we do at the symposium at yeah. Health Tasco. Yeah. So my topic is positionless football in the Premier League. So it's a new trend. I think uh, for sure, multiple Premier League clubs have done this a year as of a year ago, more or less. Mm -hmm. Middle of last season, you could argue City and Arsenal have been doing it a little longer because of Guardiola's influence. So I've come to do this topic to show people, hey, maybe we can train this. If we have the, some technical capacity, can we do this with our own teams? Mm -hmm. Can we do it with an above average high school team or an average high school team or the top high school team? And I think the answer is yes to a degree. If you don't have Guardiola's players or Arteta's players, yeah, yeah. you cannot possibly do exactly what they do. But can I open people's minds to learn and to grow? And I hope we can do. I hope I can help a little bit. So. so positionless play in the Premier League. So I can only imagine is that linked to part of, you know, the the well not the trend but the philosophy and the thought that now systems of play are kind of going away and it's more about space. Yeah, I think yeah. you hit it on the head. It's. I don't know that the systems, it's a de very deceiving topic. Just yeah. the, the, yeah. the title alone is controversial. Right, right. right? right. So when I, when I spoke to the guys overseas and, and, and my, my mentors here, and we cut it up about the topic because it's been vetted, it's a deceiving topic because mm -hmm. it's an organized chaos, but it's more organized than it is chaos. And it's not that there's no positions. It's that there are spaces. Right. And it's smartness. Mm -hmm. It's talking about players that are above smart beyond smart so if we're coaching the topic we have to coach players to be smart we have to coach the smart player where oftentimes i think in this country we teach technique first we teach the execution piece and not do they have the mental capacity right. and the higher up you go and we're we're at a high school convention yeah. right so we're dealing with senior level players or players that are maturing from uh hopefully going into the performance stage right mm -hmm. of their development and okay, well, do they have the capacity to think? Yeah. And that's most important. And that's some of the work that we, some of what we've done at the symposium is share the likes of Mikhail Bunel from Luav. Mm -hmm. He's been instrumental in helping the J, the J, I was going to say JFF, the French Football Federation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's helped push perception, scanning, right? Finding multiple solutions, taking a decision, and then the execution piece. So, uh, he's he's a consultant with the MLS as well with Fred, Lip, Fred Lipkin and the guys there and just helping connect people that, hey, the execution is the last piece yeah. or how many times will you see a passing pattern? Someone do a passing pattern. That's great if you have them for a year and you're trying to just, you know, that's not the meat of what you're doing. The meat is here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, and actually, Adam's session he just did, it's cool right. to come in here while yeah. this, it's yeah. live. Uh, he's talking about inverted pullbacks. So Correct. fullbacks coming inside, they have Zinchenko at Arsenal. He's one of the best in the world. And credit to him, he's done a really nice job painting the picture on the moment. When Where's the space? How does, to your point, the space opens? And he had the, the outside back going in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think the kids are picking it up, which was cool. So. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm... I'm I'm sitting here and I'm listening to you. I'm eating everything up here because this is literally what, um, you know, as, as I mentioned with you earlier, I'm also a high school, high school coach here in Texas at <clears throat> San Antonio MacArthur high school. And it's what I preach to my girls, my girls team, right. Is talking about the most critical skill is this, is this guy right here, right. Those six inches between your ears. That's what I'm looking for. And that's what I want first in my players. And, you know, we've been, we've been at it together now since august 14th right i'm i'm the new coach obviously they're having to adjust to me and you know we're getting ready to start our season because that's one of the things i don't know if they've told you right is this is on we're on the eve of the texas high school soccer season yeah. about to begin right after thanksgiving and <clears throat> three months into it um it's now starting to sink in with uh with a lot of my players and I'm very proud of them. And it's it's great because it's it's ringing a bell now, right? And they're seeing how to, 
it's amazing what happens when, when you can be, when you can, your decision making, how it's impacted when you can, you know, you can scan. Because we talk about space, really three things, right? Is, you know, find it, create it, exploit it. That's what we're looking at. And one of those many things that I feel does not get preached enough is, to your point, technical, 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 tactical maybe later, but then are we really working on this guy? Critical thinking on the field, because we, we know when we do that, everything starts to slow down in front of you, right? Yeah. So, so yeah, no, I, I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's the, fascinating stuff. The push, sorry, the, <coughs> Excuse me. the push from Coach Bunel from Luav it, to the coach and directors, we get a lot of, you know, pretty good people come to the symposium in Dallas. Wow, very, very high-end people. Um, his his push, his proposal was, hey, at eight years old, we should be teaching building. This shouldn't be the, the number one priority, but it, it should be something we're doing that we build into our technique. Scanning's a technique. Mm -hmm. Perception's a technique that we need. Well, there's a tactic to it, but the actual scan to turn our head and pivot and look is a technique. So why are we not teaching like we're teaching a step over? And this is very interesting at eight, nine, 10, 12, we'd have less work to do at mm -hmm. the senior age if, if right. it was done. But this is soccer and development. And part of what we're doing is to ho hopefully open and share. And yeah, I'm, I'm trying, you, you know, right when you said that, I'm thinking, I'm trying to remember where I read this. So it was a, re it was a few months ago, I read it. So when you talk about scanning, scanning in particular, right? We talk about, so we understand the first touch as a skill. We understand dribbling as a skill, passing as a skill, receiving, and they're all, they're all in their own right. They're all needed, but they're all independent. Scanning is the one that kind of incorporates or consolidates all of them. Yeah. Right. It's not yeah. my, uh, look, yeah. this is not my idea. <laughs> Mikael Bunel from yeah. Duav is the guru for this. <clears throat> I had the pleasure of watching him and being around him because he came to our symposium. Yeah. He came to multiple ones now. And the more I see him, the more I want to learn. Right. He will hopefully be back in Dallas in, in the summer. But the more I'm around great people, the better I get. And I'm just humbled to, yeah. to have the opportunity to share him with everyone else yeah. because that's, I think, the coolest thing that we're doing. Just like you're sharing, man, myself, okay, but you're sharing really, really good people coming in. Yeah. And we do the same thing. So I think our our goals are aligned, our missions aligned, and, and I think that's very cool. Very I would cool. be, if it's okay, um, we wouldn't be here, even in Texas alone, if it wasn't for Capelli. Mm -hmm. And for me, they're also really good people. Uh, Christian Gonzalez, Justin Davis. Absolutely. And they've put a lot behind, just like NSR has helped you guys, Capelli's helped us. Mm -hmm. um, and they've really pushed and made a push behind education and you don't have to be a Capelli club, yeah. uh, but they've supported what we're doing. Capelli club or not. We, if, if you're an Adidas club, Nike club, Capelli club, mm -hmm. Hummel club, it doesn't matter to us. Uh, but I do want to thank them, you know, cause I know this is sure. what a lot of people, really yes, good sir. people and, and doing the right thing for the games. So. Yeah. So you got, so tell us a little bit more, uh, a couple more for you here, coach. So tell us a little bit more about what you got going on tomorrow, because I know you kind of got a busy day here, right? So what uh, speak to a little bit of what you got going on at what times, because I know we do have some coaches that are here in attendance that will be listening to this at some point. So maybe just, just another plug in terms of yeah. what you're doing. Nine, we have a roundtable discussion uh, with Perry Vandebeck. Mm -hmm. I think he'll be on tomorrow with you. Yeah. Daniel De Oliveira, who's another representative from the International Coaching Symposium. He's a former pro coach, natural, national team coach, myself, and then Chris from the board. Uh, informal discussion, just I think a lot of That'll Pasco. be a, obviously a classroom session. Right? Yeah, classroom, yeah, 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 I'm sorry, yeah. classroom session. And I think the cool part about that is people wrote in what they wanted to talk about. So the questions are coming from ah, high school coaches, which I think is cool. So a proper panel. Yeah, 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 yeah which, yeah. you know, I think we're here to help and to just share whatever we can. And mm -hmm. so why not talk about stuff that people want to hear? Yes, sir. Then I believe at one o'clock, I'm in the classroom, positionless football in the Premier League. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got access to Y Scout, which is tied to Huddle's platform. Okay. And have you ever seen it? I've heard of it. I've never seen it. I, I might, yeah. I'm going to have to sneak into your session yeah. and check this out. They, yeah. It's literally, and I have so many really cool prem clips. Yeah. Normally, if I were to cut the film on my own, when I cut that, I probably have 20 minutes of film. Yeah. But all cut into little highlights and cool things with shapes and wow. tied lines. Yeah. But Y Scout gives you access. So if you click Arsenal, mm -hmm. right, you'll have every goal, every attacking chance from every game, and they cut it for you. So now all I had to do is 
pick just plug and what play hit the topic yeah. so i think the presentation i think it will be cool mm -hmm. I hope I, I hope I can deliver, you know, the expectation. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you'll I'm sure you'll do a great job. But, That's uh, 1 p.m., right? Yeah, 1 Your p.m. afternoon session. And yeah. then I believe my training session is at 4 p.m. And that will be – obviously, I, I cannot tell you what the Premier League teams are doing as far as training because mm -hmm. I'm not there. But I have an idea. But I will train positionless football and the concept of – I think if we dig deep, identifying time and space but really attacking movements mm -hmm. uh spatial recognition and okay. attacking movements so okay. can we rec oh, scanning's a big piece right we yeah, have to yeah. be able to scan but spatial recognition working in threes and fours because i think that four working in fours is difficult working mm -hmm. in threes is i will start in threes yeah. you know yeah. with the group but we'll see we'll see if they can do fours and that'll be 4 p.m tomorrow 4 PM, so, yeah. so awesome yeah. that's a busy day I fun. I'm that's, looking forward to that's it. That's a busy day. But that's I'm, awesome. When I'm not presenting, I'm going to watch because I oh, yeah. genuinely want to see what everyone's doing and, yeah. and pick something up. Yeah. So. With as much, you know, advanced uh, places, organizations and other, you know, clinicians, educators you've been around, I'm pretty sure you'll you'll have a couple of takeaways from this weekend. I I hope uh, if I can pick up just one thing, mm -hmm. it, it, if I can help one person, it's worth my time. Yeah. But if I can pick one thing, then that's even more. Of a hey, bonus. nothing else you learned about a new podcast, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I tell you what, and and he Hector prepped me on his background and what he did and how he got here. And I tell you, you're easy to talk to. I've been, I've enjoyed this. Yeah. Uh, you do a great job, so I will I will definitely be following. I appreciate so, you, yes, yeah. sir. I appreciate, and I'm not going to let you go that easy. Okay. So tell us a little bit before that. Tell us just briefly a little bit more of your your background beyond the international soccer school, your background in the game, because I know you're a fellow uh, college soccer colleague. Yeah. So, yeah, so I appreciate that. I love that because I know how much work goes behind that. But just, you know, brief humble brag. Tell us a little bit about your background. So my uncle is Bob DeCranian. He started Southern Connecticut State University. He's in every Hall of Fame. There is mm -hmm. Lifetime Achievement Award with the NSCA. So my background, I think my formal education comes from him. I'm mm -hmm. a math major from Connecticut College, a good school. I hung it up and I, my math degree, I hung up and decided <laughs> to go coach yeah. and got to. Like, what's wrong with you? My dad was ready to kill me. <laughs> yeah. so we just had a great education. And yeah. You should be a banker, an accountant or yeah. something. And you're going to coach. He was so upset. Uh, you wanted then, to follow. You wanted to follow the real money, right? So you went in a coaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, yeah. yeah that's, that's that's a good one. That's not well, not what happens. No, it's not a good one. <laughs> I think I I worked at Chili's, you know, for a year just to even be able to be a volunteer and yeah. make ends meet, and then eventually yeah. became a full time, part time, paid assistant. Mm -hmm. And for a decade, I was at University of South Florida for 13 years, and I'm proud to say every recruiting class I was a part of because I'm not the awesome. only one that recruited the players. Right, right. Was in the top 25. We were in the tournament 10 out of 12 years or mm -hmm. something like that. Final eight, multiple times. Never made it to a final four, but was proud of the work I did. Left and started the Florida Soccer School, which became the International Soccer School, yeah. and we've got six different brands mm -hmm. under the the portfolio of the yeah. international soccer school and the like i said the most proud one is the international coaching symposium we're doing yeah. if one coach can go and learn something and he can impact 15 18 players if a coaching director can implement scanning and perception into his curriculum he could be potentially touching tens of thousands of people over the course of mm -hmm. you know 15 20 years oh, yeah. so that one impact that we can make as a company and it could be Mikael like from Luav, it could be Alan from West Ham who spoke mm -hmm. about Premier League match analysis or yeah. playing with, mm -hmm. if we can impact one or two or, or, you know, we can really do a good thing. So just yeah. like, just like yourself. Yeah. So. Awesome. Well, um, yeah, I gotta say that's some tremendous stuff. And one more time, give us, give us that information, give us that plug, where can we get more information and then give us those dates and where they can go to get more information on that symposium. That's how I know you're really yeah. good at this. <laughs> Internationalcoachingsymposium.com. I'm terrible at this. Internationalcoachingsymposium.com. We're in Dallas from July 12th to the 14th uh, with North Texas. And then we'll be in Florida from this August 2nd to the 4th. I believe we're working on live streaming it as well. If you're oh, from nice. like San Antonio yeah, yeah. and can't make it, yeah. we'll have a live stream component. Uh, which should be great, but international coaching symposium dot com. Uh, Still working on that guest or, or that guest list for next year. You guys, can't. Argentina is yeah. uh, Diego Placente, Kike uh -huh. Sasana, both from the Argentina. Uh, they're in, I believe, they're in Saudi Arabia right now, or mm -hmm. wherever wherever the U seventeen World Cup is with with the team. Yeah, uh, we have Icono, 
so the Econo method, um, and then I believe Mikael Bunel from Luav. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're working on a couple other big, big couple guys. Of others. Yeah. We usually bring four or five really yeah. high end. And uh, yeah. the most important point, I think, for the people we bring, they're great people. And it doesn't matter if you're an MLS coach, and we had MLS coaches in the audience, yeah. or you know, a volunteer assistant, uh, high school, let's say the, the high school coach just starting out, the, the JV coach, the assistant JV coach, they will have time for you and they're here to help you, and so are we. So awesome. I think that's the coolest piece. So, yeah. Well, as we ramp up here, Coach, uh, is custom what we're trying to do here is we're trying to have, we call, call it our stoppage time. Is your opportunity, we we'll give you the floor, or share any thoughts, any plugs, any other thank yous, shout outs, anything that's on your mind as it relates to the game or here at Tasco, the floor is yours. For me, thank you to Capelli Sport and huddle both of them have been instrumental in in what we're doing um mentors juan carlos machia mm -hmm. optic and my uncle uh, perry vanderbeck's been instrumental in what we yeah. do dan and de the guys that are here with me presenting um the most important thing i think is if your mind's open to learning right if you're truly open to just learning something new we don't know where we can go yeah and we don't know how many people we can help and when you're watching, if you're listening and you're going to show up and watch tomorrow or you show up and you watch something else or you see something, uh, don't. And Didier Chambaron from U.S. Soccer is a brilliant guy, super humble. Mm -hmm. He's done everything. He's the head of U.S. Soccer's education. I did a MLS Next uh, thing with with Fred Lipka, does a great job there with education. And Didier, he said to me, and this will stick with me, he said, don't go and say, I don't like this or I like this. This is the wrong approach. It's not whether we like it or not, or, or he did a good job or he didn't. Try and find out his intention. Mm. And if you can see what the intention was for why Adam did what he did and what Perry did and what Coach Mackey's intent was to share, then we can say, hey, what did he do well? What can I take? And maybe what, what could he have done a little bit better? And then we're truly open to taking away what we can take away and yeah. i think that if you're listening i think this would be my advice awesome. just someone help me and i i want to share that message yeah great stuff great stuff well said thank you so much coach and uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up if you if you want to go ahead take off your headphones grab one of those sharpies in front of you and uh you can uh, right there go ahead and sign uh sign our little background board here which we're gonna we're gonna give away uh or donate or maybe for a good foundation good cause uh, at the end of the uh, convention, you just sign away somewhere where you like. Maybe if you want to share a little note there, have yeah. had it. Love it. Have had it. And just... thank you again for having me. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Watch your step there. A little, yep. little tight space there. You got to make sure you're scanning in that area there. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want me to go into wherever, you, wherever you want. Wherever you want. Anywhere and everywhere. Yeah. You're the first one to pick. Yeah. Smart man. Smart man. So as he does that and wraps up again for our listeners, so uh, this may be our last uh, last interview of the evening, but uh, don't go. We may we're going to try to see if we can come one more time, uh, come back, bring back another guest one more time this evening. But if we don't, looking forward to we have a full day of guests and interviews, great topics, uh, great conversations. So uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be make, we'll make sure that we're coming back with great, many more great guests. So. Keep up, uh, keep up the great work on those downloads and those listens. And until the next time, keep downloading and keep listening.